What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and achieving at least one of your goals today. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the 2023 Chevy Colorado LT. Huge thank you to Dwayne Ferguson over at Coons Tyson Chevy Buick GMC for allowing me to do this review for you guys today. If you are interested in this particular Colorado LT or any GM product with the exception of Cadillac, I'll be sure to have Dwayne's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. All right, well, just like I always do, first, let's talk about the exterior and the performance. So like I said, this is a 2023 Chevy Colorado LT, and this particular one has been painted in sterling gray metallic. One of the first things I wanted to say at the beginning of this video is that for 2023, the Colorado as a whole did get a redesigned interior and exterior with new engine options. And by the way, the crew cab short box configuration is the only configuration you can choose from now for 2023 with the Colorado. So if you get the work truck, got to get the crew cab short box. Again, that is the only configuration now for the 2023 model year of the Canyon and the Colorado. But starting over here at our headlights as standard with the LT, you get halogen headlights with IntelliBeam as well as standard turn signals. And this particular one's been optioned with the $1,270 LT convenience package, which gives you LED fog lights. But now working our way to the center of the front end, you get a satin black front grille that is separated by a metallic gray trim piece that spans across the entire front end. So you can see that trim piece starts about here, goes down there and then spans all the way across the entire front end, separating the top of the satin black grill from the bottom of the satin black grill. And then obviously you have your Chevy bow tie at the center of your front grill. Now, one thing I wanted to say is let's say you wanted a 360 degree view camera system. You wanted that forward facing camera. Well, to get that 360 degree view camera system in the forward facing camera, you would have to opt for the $950 technology package in order to get that. And basically the front camera would be there and then you get the side cameras on the bottom of your side view mirrors. And obviously you have the backup camera and this particular one obviously has a backup camera, but you also do get some satin black outer grills on both sides of your bumper. That's one on that side. Here is one on this side. And then coming down just a tad bit, you get some satin black trim down here as well as two black recovery hooks. So I'm not sure if the GoPro is gonna pick it up, so I'll zoom it in. Got one over there, one over there. And I do believe that those are frame mounted recovery hooks. And then if you were wondering about the ground clearance of the LT, you get 7.9 inches of ground clearance with the LT. Now, if you make the step up to the Trail Boss, which is the next trim level above this, you get a factory two inch lift as well as the track is three inches wider and it gives you the wide body. So the LT, this is more of like the road going professional, I would say Colorado. Um, but if you wanted like the Trail Boss and the Z71 uh, and so on and so forth, those all have a two inch factory lift and a three inch wider track, which gives it the wide body appearance, which in my opinion looks bad to the bone. Uh, again, this one does not have that. but. Working our way down the side, these are the standard wheels um, that come with the Colorado. And they are a 17 inch Argent or Argent, I'm not sure which one it is, metallic wheels. And they are wrapped in 255, 65 Goodyear Wrangler Territory HT tires. I'll show you the tread pattern on these tires here real quick. That is a look at the tread pattern. And if you do not like these wheels, which in my opinion, I think these wheels look sweet and I kind of remind me of like fuel rebel wheels just with the design of the spokes and stuff but if you do not like these wheels there is one other wheel option however to get that wheel option you got to opt for i believe all the uh it's like a five thousand dollar option to get the other wheels so basically you have to get a fully loaded colorado in order to get the other wheel option which in my opinion i think these wheels look awesome so i would not have to change a thing because i think these wheels again look just awesome as a standard wheel in my personal opinion but one thing that's kind of interesting to me about these side view mirrors, take a look at the paint here. Take a look at the paint here. I'm not sure if that's gonna pick up on camera, but all Colorados, doesn't matter if you get in a red, a blue, a white, or a black, they all get these dark gray mirror caps. So you can see this is dark gray, and then this is the sterling metallic, 
there's a little bit of a difference and you don't quite notice it until you get up close and personal with it. But anyways, you get these dark gray mirror caps. These side view mirrors as standard are manual folding and power adjustable. This particular one has been optioned with the $2,450 LT convenience package too, which gives you the heated exterior mirror. So as standard, manual folding and power adjustable. Now let's do a little side profile shot of this thing here. You can see it's actually a nicely sized truck. It's not too big, it's not too small, um, and it's actually very spacious on the interior, which is something that I really, really like. And honestly, I could buy one of these for myself, and I'm not just saying that. Um, you'll see why as we progress along in this video. But anyways, you get black window trim as well as a black B-pillar applique. So like what you kind of find on like the Toyota Tacomas, essentially what this is is from up here, to here, you basically get like a satin black vinyl wrapped piece. Um, basically, it kind of gives you the illusion that there is no B pillar. That's kind of what they're going for. Um, but yeah, thought I might point that out as well as you get body color door handles with keyless access on the front two doors only, however, and then you get your Chrome Colorado badging also on your front two doors. And that's about it for that. You do get a capless filler neck, 87 octane will do you just fine. That's a look at your capless filler neck. And then working our way to the back here, you get these halogen cargo lights, as well as this one, again, has been optioned with the $1,270 LT convenience package, which gives you the sliding rear window as well as the rear window defroster. You also get these four by four bed decals when optioning uh, this with four wheel drive. I might as well point this out now, the work truck and the LT are the only two Colorados that you can get two wheel drive with. Uh, the Trail Boss on up all comes standard with four wheel drive. This one has been optioned with four wheel drive, however. Um, another thing I wanted to say is that you do get halogen taillights as standard. Obviously you get a backup camera as standard. All vehicles in the United States 2018 and up have been mandate, mandated to have a backup camera. Again, this has the optional $1,270 LT convenience package, which gives you the easy lift and lower tailgate, as well as the tailgate keyed lock, which is what that is right there. And then you also get the Stoflex tailgate. So I'll point those options out to you now. You get the easy lift and lower tailgate, which is what this is now. You get the Stoflex tailgate, which is what this is. Basically open that up out open that up out and then you can set some jumper cables or snacks or something like that in here uh, i'm pretty sure this is watertight because uh, i did a video with like a canyon at4 a couple weeks ago and it was raining really really hard and nothing in here got wet um it you can see there is a little bit of moisture but it's really not wet like it's not soaking um so just be mindful of what you set back here i think you would be okay setting some jumper cables back here but again just keep in mind that it might get a little bit moist in here uh, but i don't think it's going to get soaked in there but anyways that's what that is there i'm gonna lock that back up lock that back up again you get the easy lift and lower tailgate makes it very easy to open and close that and then you get that tailgate key lock right there you also get two tie downs in each corner for a total of eight um this does not come standard i don't believe with a bed liner however i do believe this one has been sprayed in after the fact so it's i don't think this is a factory spray in bed liner um but you can see either the dealer did it or you know i don't know i don't know but i do know that it does have a spray in bed liner uh, actually i don't think i locked this correctly so i gotta push down and now it's locked correctly there we go closing that back up you can see chevrolet stamped into the tailgate got your colorado badging and your lt badging both of which are in chrome and then you do get the body color corner step rear bumper obviously step on this side step on this side as well one thing that's kind of really weird to me um, is that you don't get a trailer hitch but you get like the trailer hitch bar looking thing very very odd um but i thought i would show you that because i don't know that is really really weird to me uh but a couple other things I wanted to mention while we were back here is that you do get a 342 rear axle ratio as well as a single speed transfer case. And if you were wondering about the max tow capacity with this vehicle having no options, it would be 3,500 pounds. However, this particular one's been optioned with the $2,450 LT convenience package too, which gives you the 2.7 liter turbo plus four cylinder. So your max tow capacity gets bumped up to 7,700 pounds as spec'd here today. So this particular one has a 7,700 pound max tow capacity, which I think is very, very capable. And you can tow quite a big boat 
with a 7,700 pound max tow capacity. But let me know what you think of the redesign for the 2023 Chevy Colorado in the comments down below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? I don't see how you would not like it. I definitely like the redesigned uh, Colorado for 2023 better than the 2022 and below. Again, subjective opinion. That's the way I believe it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But with that stuff said, let's move into performance. Pop and open that hood of reels, that 2.7 liter turbo plus four cylinder that comes a part of the $2,450 LT convenience package too. That engine puts out 310 horsepower and 391 pound feet of torque. It is mated to an eight speed automatic transmission for a zero to 60 time in six and a half seconds. If you were wondering about fuel economy, you can achieve 17 miles per gallon in the city, 21 miles per gallon on the highway for 19 miles per gallon combined when optioned with four wheel drive. Again, you only get the option of two wheel drive with the LT and the work truck. All the other Colorado trim levels are with four wheel drive as standard. But if you're enjoying the video so far today, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I'm on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and I cannot get there without your support. So if you've enjoyed this video in any sort of capacity, please take a second, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. But with that stuff said, let's move into the interior. All right, moving on into the interior. Like I mentioned a little bit ago in the video, you do get keyless access. All you gotta do is have your key fob in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle, press on this button right here and the vehicle will unlock. You can also lock the vehicle by pressing on that button and now the vehicle is locked. This particular one, like I mentioned, has been optioned with the $2,450 LT convenience package too, which gives you the remote start function. So to remote start the vehicle, you lock it and then you press this button twice and she fires right up. Now let's take a look at what we got going on here in the interior. So what I'm gonna have to do maybe is turn this on so the climate system doesn't just blast, but uh, taking a look at the driver's side door panel, this area right here that I'm pointing out with my pointer finger is leather wrapped. You get a nicely padded armrest and you get some accent colored stitching. Chrome looking door handle, unlock and your lock functions, power side view mirror controls. You get an automatic up and down front driver window. All the other windows are automatic down only. Great spot you could set a phone and then a spot you could set a Deer Park water bottle right there. Last but not least, you have a speaker obviously on your door as well. Now, also with the LT convenience package too, you get an eight way power front driver seat with power lumbar as well as heated front seats. Uh, and a couple other things that I'll get into in this video, but this is the jet black cloth interior. Down the side, you can see you get that accent colored stitching. Here are your power seat controls there. The front passenger seat is manually adjustable. Now, stepping on into the interior, you may be able to see what is brand new for 2023. So essentially what you get now is an eight inch digital gauge cluster as well as an 11.3 inch infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto connectivity. But I'm gonna close the door, then we're gonna start here and work our way throughout the interior. So starting over here with this scroll knob, this is to brighten and or dim your gauge cluster as well as your backlit buttons. This particular one has been optioned with the $1,270 LT convenience package, which gives you the tilting and telescoping steering wheel. So as standard, I believe you just get the tilting function with the LT convenience package, you get the telescoping function. So it'll come towards you, it'll go away from you, and it'll move up and down to your liking. Um, so yeah, very, very nice. All you gotta do, pull down on that, and then you have full adjustability with that steering wheel. But now let's take a listen to our turn signal. That is what your turn signal sounds like. Not only is this your turn signal control stock, this is also your windshield wiper control stock. So that's a closer look at that stock right there. Now zooming back out, you get a leather wrapped steering wheel and obviously just like any vehicle, you have a horn at the center. So let's take a listen to the horn. That is what the horn sounds like on the 2023 Colorado. Now, one thing that I find very interesting um, is that you have to opt for the $1,270 LT convenience package in order to get to cruise control. So over here, you have your cruise control settings. So uh, the way that I take that is that as standard with the LT, you do not get cruise control. You do have to opt for the LT convenience package in order to get cruise control. I think that is kind of crazy nowadays, uh, but I guess that's just you know the way that things are. Um, and then over here, if you push down on that, 
that is to hang up on a phone call. If you push up on that, that is to pick up on a phone call. This is gonna bring you throughout some different screens uh, on your digital dash. This is gonna bring you into your music stuff on your digital dash. And then that is to speak to the vehicle. And then on the back sides of your steering wheel here, you have your tuning controls on the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side on the back, you have your volume controls back there. But now let's go throughout the buttons here. So if I click that, that's gonna bring me throughout this screen. So you have your different, basically dash layouts by pressing on that button there. Um, so yeah, that is what that button does. It brought you throughout those different screens. If I click that, that's gonna bring me into my audio stuff on that screen and then to navigate throughout that screen, I have these buttons here. And to basically select, let's say I wanna go into XM, basically you just push down on that and then that's gonna bring you into your XM stuff, which is exactly what it just did. But that's kind of about it for those buttons there. Now let's move into our gauge cluster. So right now what's displayed on the gauge cluster is the ambient exterior temperature, the odometer, the transmission status stuff, you have the um, transfer case status. So right now we're in four wheel auto. That is your fuel range. That is your fuel pump pointing to the left-hand side of the vehicle, basically saying that the uh, you have to fill the vehicle up with fuel on the driver's side. That is your compass there. That's letting us know that the lane keeping system is on and that I am unbuckled. Now clicking on this button is gonna bring us into this screen. Now you get your tachometer at the center and then at the center of your tachometer, you have your digital speedometer readout. Then you have your coolant temperature stuff your oil temperature stuff, your transmission fluid temperature there, and then that is your fuel gauge. Click this button again, brings you into this screen, basically trip information stuff. Uh, now you get your audio stuff, and then you have basically your calm screen, which is basically just your digital speedometer readout. And that's kind of about it for that eight inch screen. As standard, you get push button start, then all of this is some nice like leather looking type of material. And then, like I said, this is new for 2023. And this is the 11.3 inch infotainment system with the wireless CarPlay and the wireless Android Auto. On the left-hand side of the screen, you have your volume knob. And then all the way on the left-hand side of the screen, you have your shortcut button. So this is like your Google Assistant button. It's basically like Google's version of Siri. And then that will bring you into your different vehicle stuff. I'll show you that in a second. That's your phone stuff, navigation stuff audio stuff and then that is your home button. I wanna show you um, the vehicle stuff here though first. So you may have noticed that you no longer have like a physical headlight button or control. That is because you have to go throughout this screen. So basically to instantly go into your headlight controls, you see that little light function right there, click on that and then you have your headlights off, automatic, parking lights on and or headlights in the always on position. So that is how you have uh, access into your headlights. If you wanna go into deeper access to turn on, let's say your fog lights, you click that you go into lights and then these are all your different lighting controls. Let's say for your cab lights, you could turn your auto high beams on or off. You have all your headlight controls and then you have your fog light controls in here. Clicking back out of that, you have all your different vehicle stuff here. You can turn your auto high beams off there as well. Front fog lights, you can pop up your rear view camera. Um, you can lock your uh, power windows by clicking on that right there. So this is basically where you find all of your different vehicle settings, traction control, all that kind of stuff. Um, so to go into that, that is your vehicle setting stuff. Anyways, um, this is what your home screen looks like. You have your wireless Apple CarPlay and your wireless Android Auto stuff down there. Uh, if you wanted to, you could pop up your climate control stuff on the screen as well by clicking on that button. I'm gonna turn it on and that is what that looks like when it is on on the screen. Back and back out of that. One thing that I think is really cool um, is that this one has an optional wireless charging pad that comes a part of the LT convenience package too. But with that in mind, I wanted to show you, when you put your phone on the wireless charging pad, it's gonna pop up here and here that the phone is charging. So now you can see that green little uh, lightning bolt on there and on there. That's letting you know that your phone is charging. As soon as I pull my phone off, that goes away. Just give it a sec, see that? I think that is a really, really cool function. Uh, but anyways, sliding back over here. This also is a Wi-Fi hotspot capable vehicle. By the way, the Wi-Fi hotspot works awesome. Uh, it's very, very useful. Uh, I love the Wi-Fi hotspots in all GM vehicles. It's a very, very, very useful feature. Um, and then you can go into your vehicle information stuff. I'll give this a second for it to pop up. You can go between uh, your tires and brakes, your fuels, uh, fluids and filters, your engine stuff. You get three pages here of that. And then, yeah, that's kind of about it for what we got going on there. I don't wanna spend too much time on the screen, uh, but coming down a little bit, Dual zone climate control comes a part of the LT convenience package for $1,270. Um, so dual zone climate, they 
display the temperatures on the uh, scroll knobs themselves. So you can see as I change the temperatures on the scroll knob, the uh, temperature changes on there. So very, very cool. This is a closer look at what that looks like there. Like I mentioned a little bit ago in the video, this has the $2,450 LT convenience package too. And that gives you heated front seats, this is your heated seat function. This is your heated seat function. Both front seats have three levels of adjustability with those heated seats. Coming down a little bit, you get two HVAC vents, and then you have all these controls here. Basically, if I push that, that's gonna roll all the windows down here on the interior. But one kind of flaw to this is that it doesn't roll them all back up. I would like to see GM put something that rolls all the windows back up, because right now it only rolls all the windows back down. Uh, but anyways, that's the turn auto stop start on or off. Hazard button lane keeping button and then let's say you want to wire up a light bar this is like your auxiliary button so you can turn on your light bar by pushing on that right there very cool then you get a usb a port you get a usb c port again that wireless charging pad comes a part of the lt convenience package too one thing though that's kind of interesting is that you don't really get any drive modes other than like normal mode and tow haul mode um because normally like this would be like raised up and i'd be able to spin it if this was like let's say a trail boss um, that would put me in between my different drive modes but you can't do that on this and this also is a single speed transfer case so you have four wheel automatic you have four wheel high two wheel high and that is your tow haul mode this is what your gear shift selector looks like so go into drive that's how you go into drive and then go all the way down um, the reason you'll see why i said that's how you go into drive because when you put it in l now you can control the transmission with these buttons here so this is to downshift this is to upshift and that's it for that you have uh, an electronic parking brake here you get two cup holders, a spot you could set a phone in between those two cup holders. You get a nicely padded armrest. Opening up the armrest, you get a divider, and then you get quite a bit of storage space down in there, as well as a 12 volt power outlet in there as well. I'm not sure how well the camera's gonna pick it up, but you get 12 volt outlet right there. Good amount of storage space considering the size of this vehicle down in there. And then moving over to here, you do not get a lockable lower glove box, but you get a decent amount of storage space in your glove box. That's what that looks like. And then opu panel over there on the a-pillar for the passenger the driver does not get an opu panel now taking a look at this mirror right here again this particular one has been optioned with the 2450 dollars lt convenience package 2 which gives you the auto dimming rear view mirror that's a look at your auto dimming rear view mirror then you get your onstar stuff there that lets you know if your passenger airbag is on or off driver light passenger light and then you have all your light controls here moving over to here this is your visor you got a spot you could set any paper product opening this up you get a vanity mirror with two vanity lights those two vanity lights oh, excuse me uh, come a part of the lt convenience package for twelve hundred and seventy dollars so normally uh the base lt would not get these vanity lights and then this slides forwards and backwards to your liking um, bluetooth mic picker for a bluetooth phone there same thing over there for the front passenger as well this is what the front passenger side looks like and kind of about it for the front area uh, a couple things i wanted to go over uh, the two options that this vehicle has so again this has the 2450 dollars lt convenience package 2 which gives you remote start the eight-way power front driver's seat with the power lumbar the heated front seats the auto dimming rear view mirror the 2.7 liter plus engine the heated exterior mirrors the wireless charging pad and the 17 inch spare this also has the $1,270 LT convenience package, which gives you cruise control, a tilting and telescoping steering wheel, illuminated vanity mirrors, a dual zone climate control system, and the sliding and defrosting rear window back there. Now I'm gonna throw the entire window sticker on screen. You guys can take a look at the optional stuff. You guys can take a look at the standard stuff. You can take a look at the fuel economy stuff. You can basically take a look at whatever you want to. Basically, I'm just gonna highlight the MSRP. So the MSRP of the way that this particular 2023 Colorado LT is spec is $40,115. Let me know what you think of that price in the comments down below. One comment I wanted to make before we moved into those rear seats is that this has the base sound system, and I'm quite impressed by how good the base sound system is on this vehicle. It's got good bass, it's got good clarity. I do, however, wish it was a little bit louder, but overall, for a base sound system, it sounds pretty dang good. But I do wanna show you what we got going on in these rear seats before we move into the driving portion of the video. 
So taking a look at the door panel back here, it looks kind of similar to what you would find in the front. Again, automatic down windows back here only. The window does go all the way down. Chrome looking door handle, nicely padded armrest and a spot you could set a water bottle there. Taking a look at these rear seats, this is what the rear seats look like there. You can fold up these seats by pulling up on that and then pulling up on the seat. Now you can see you get some partition space. You could set your jumper cables in here if you wanted to set them there instead of in your tailgate. Um, but yeah, to drop these, pull back up on that and then the bench seat drops. Stepping on into what we got going on back here, I am adjusted behind myself. I'm actually more reclined than I would normally be. I am five foot nine, but I still have a few inches of knee room and leg room. Here's a, uh, a better view of that right there. And then I have just a ton of headroom, not even close. Uh, I think I could be six foot one or two and still be comfortable here in these rear seats. You got an Opu panel up top here. You got a dome light and another Opu panel over there. Coming down to here, you get two cup holders, a spot you could set a phone in between those two cup holders, two uh, HVAC vents and a USB-C port. You do not get a seat back, or uh, you do not get a seat back pocket behind the driver's seat, but you do get a seat back pocket behind the front passenger seat. And really, that's kind of about it for what we got going on here in these rear seats. So, you know, we've talked about the exterior, we've talked about the performance, and now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior of the Colorado LT. So, I want to see what this thing's like to drive, as I'm assuming you guys do as well. So, I will see you guys in the driver's seat. All right, and now on to the driving portion of the video, where now I've driven pretty much all the canyons except for the AT4X, and I've driven the Colorado Trail Boss and now the Colorado LT. So I'm kind of familiarized um, with this platform, and every time I get in one, I'm always amazed at just how good they are. I mean, they really are sweet little trucks, and uh, if you caught what I said midway through the video, I said that I would purchase one of these myself and I'm not lying. I would truly buy one of these myself. Right now I drive a 2007 Honda Ridgeline. It's not a real truck, I understand. Um, but I just, I appreciate the size of these little trucks, you know what I mean? Because especially this one is very, very capable at a 7,700 pound max tow capacity. Um, it's got really good get up and go. It's very comfortable to drive. The seats are very comfortable. Um, it's just a really great little truck. It's very capable little truck. Um, the only real neg that I guess I could say uh, is that I really do wish that it had a physical headlight control. Um, it doesn't really matter because it's very easy to just reach over this and turn them on like that. I mean, it makes it very, very easy. Um, but it is a, like one extra step and you might not hit it the first time. So, I mean, I just like to go boop on, boop off. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's really the only gripe that I have with this vehicle. Other than that, I think it looks awesome, especially if you get the LED headlights and the LED taillights. I think that is the finishing touch. I think that makes this look a lot more premium. Um, However, you know, this one doesn't have it. Um, and if you wanna save quite a bit of money, like five grand, then you don't have to get the, uh, I think that's a Model S Plaid. You don't, I think it's the LT Convenience Package 3 is what gives you the LED headlights and the LED taillights. Again, I think it does make it look a lot more premium, uh, but then, you know, instead of a $40,000 truck, it turns into like a $45,000 truck, which even at that price point, I still think is a good deal. However, when you're getting up to like that price, it's like, well, at least from my perspective, I'd rather have, you know, uh, a Canyon AT4 for 52,000 or a Canyon, uh, what was, what's the, a Canyon Elevation. I think the Canyons look a little bit better. Uh, and the Canyon Elevation, which is like, I think the base model Canyon, uh, comes standard with LED headlights and LED daytime running lights. So I think it looks really, really sweet. Um, so that's just my personal opinion on that. But uh, yeah, I mean, it drives great. I think it looks great. Um, it's just a really good truck for $40,000. I mean, for $40,000, you have a truck that can tow a pretty, you know, pretty decent sized boat. Um, and you don't have to spend $60,000 on a F-150 XLT or on like a, you know, decently mo or a decently uh, specced up like Silverado or Sierra. You know, those trucks are, you know, pretty expensive. And I think this thing is very capable and you don't really necessarily need, you know, a half ton when you have this. One thing though that I really like uh, about the 
canyons and the Colorados is the new motor. The new motor has a really sweet turbo whistle to it. And I wanted to mention this and I wanted to do a video with one of these again because I was behind one of these the other day. I believe it was a Colorado. I can't remember though. Um, and I was just next to it and he was just doing like just a standard acceleration and I could hear the turbo whistle. I had my windows down. I could hear it and it was loud and I was like, that's sick. And I, I don't know, I just think that that's really cool. And I always mention this in the videos that I do with these is that when you get on it, try to take a listen. You can hear the turbo spooling up. Here, I'll try to do capture that on camera at a lower speed. So now we'll go like this speed, listen. I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up on camera, but I'd love how you can hear the turbo whistle. I think it just adds to the driving experience. I know, you know, there's gonna be quite a few of you who are like, I could care less about that. But I know there are gonna be a few of you that are gonna be like, okay, yeah, that is pretty cool. Um, so that's why I pointed out. But anyway, this thing rides awesome. Like I mentioned, the standard sound system was surprisingly good. Um, I was surprised by the bass. I was surprised by the clarity. I just wish that it was a little bit louder. But other than that, um, it was just really, really awesome, honestly. Uh, overall, this is a great little truck for those of you who are looking at a truck. You want something that's capable. You don't necessarily need the one with the factory two inch lift and the three inch wider stance. Um, because, I mean, reality is you don't need that look, but it does look sick. Um, this has the same, you know, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? It has the same capability as those trucks. Maybe not off road because this. You know, it doesn't have four wheel out or a locking rear axle. Um, but for what it is, I think it's awesome. I think it's a great value at $40,000. Um, and I think, you know, if you're looking for a midsize truck and you don't know what to get and you're kind of, you just, you want a midsize truck, you just don't know which one you want. I would say go out and test drive one of these because I think you'll see what I'm saying. They're very comfortable to drive. They go over speed bumps well. They go over bumps well. Um, and they've got really, really good power to them. So that's it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I'm on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and I cannot get there without your support. If you enjoyed this video in any sort of capacity, like I said, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Those uh, two things really look good for the YouTube algorithm and that's really what helps grow my channel. So I would really, really appreciate it truly from the bottom of my heart if you would do that. But but like I said, that's it for today's video. I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.